Although he is the greatest flat jockey that has ever saddled up, Frankie de Torre's life has indeed been full of ups and downs. He's talked of depression, anxiety, eating disorders, drug bans, as well as surviving a horrific plane crash. Yet he always seems to pop back up on our screens, riding winners, joking about Frankie is an inspiration of how the downs can always be followed by the ups. But now, my friends, in possibly the lowest point of his life, he's here with me on Jeremy Carr Live. Frankie D, how are you, son? <laughs> nice to uh, see you on TV again, finally. It's been, well, how long? Over three years? You're a good man, Frankie. I have so much I want to cram in. Um, let's talk about the most incredible career, two and a half thousand wins. Highest point of your career, Frankie de Tori, Listen, go. You, 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 you... You, you, you left a uh, 1,000 out. Let's, let's just say 3,500. That sounds a bit better. Stay there it? a second. Researcher, fired. Um, three and a half. Um, <laughs> highlights. Biggest career highlight, Frankie? Uh, obviously, winning the seven races at Ascot in 96. I made lots of people rich. I made the bootmakers really poor. So I must say I was the Robin Hood of, uh, of the racing world that day. So I would say that would be my highlight. But, you know, it's been many highlights, obviously. Winning the Derby is very important. All the good races I won at Royal Ascot and the Arc de Triomphs in Paris. So, the, you know, but, you know, if I have to pick one, I would say the... The seven they asked at the 96. I was, was there. Special. It was unbelievable. I wish I'd done all seven. I'd be a rich man. Um, <laughs> low points. You've been very honest. You've talked about depression. You've talked about anxiety. You've talked about drug use. Is that the pressure of being a top sportsman, of being the man who has to stay at the top? Possibly. Uh, you know, you, you know, nobody gives you a book how to live your life. You know, depends how. Uh, the, the, the twists and turns of your life. You know, I've had a, a very roller coaster life, uh, like all the things that you mentioned, and uh, you have to deal with it, you know. And I think we all have inside, as a human person, the, 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 the will to fight and, and, and to come back and to, you know, to make yourself better. And, you know, there's been uh, a, a few low points in my life, and I always try to... Uh, you know, and I was quite lucky as well that uh, good people around me to, to, to have me with the, the situations. And, uh, yeah, I, you know, I think if you put your mind to it and, uh, you know, you work hard and you work on your state of, state of your mind and you, you can get out of bad, bad, bad situation. And, you know, I've been, I've been very lucky with that position. I talked without getting into detail about how my wife, Victoria, helped me massively. You've said that your wife saved you. How did she save you, Frankie? Absolutely, yeah. Listen, uh, we've been together from uh, f since we were young kids, and uh, you know, sh you know, you, it's very important to have. You know, when you're when you're a sportsman, uh, it's very important to have somebody behind the scene. What she can ride your moods. You know, I mean, you can be, you know, up one minute, down the next. Uh, you, you know, you. There's a lot of things going on in your mind, and uh, you know, being in the public eye, obviously, is a lot of criticism. You know, when you get beat on a horse and people bet on it, you get shouted at. You get blamed for, so you is a lot of self um, conscious of about losing, mm. and uh, you know you you take you take those uh, situations back home, and uh, so you need a strong woman behind it. What can uh, kind of uh, shake you up a bit and, you were, uh, um, and put you back on the straight and narrow? <laughs> one of the things I, I was at Royal Ascot for Gold Cup Day. Much was made about the ride on Stradivarius. I saw you in the corridor, if you remember, about 10 minutes afterwards. There was a public fallout with John Godson. You know, the greatest jockey ever lived was demoted. But again, you fought back. You win on Chaldean. That, that group won the other week, which is fantastic. Good friend of yours and mine, Dave Stevens, wants you to know you can't retire. You've got to win the 2,000 guineas. Anything to take money off Coral. How do you keep bouncing back, Frankie de Tori? Well, I... It does hurt. I got a massive, big bruise on my arm, but uh, I uh, look. The first, first, the first, most. I've still got the love of the sport. Uh, you know, it took me thirty odd years to make a name of myself, and you know, I, I be, I'm quite selfish to say that there's nothing better to hear my name be screamed uh, from the grandstand when I ride a favourite and I'm just about to win. It's the best buzz in the world. I mean, those footballers are spoiled. They get it every Saturday. And, 
you know, that's, that's what keeps me going. I love it. And, uh, you know, I, I, I know I'm getting old. I'm 51, but uh, the fire is still burning. I keep myself pretty fit. And uh, I think that's the secret. And also, I've got the love of the animal. I love the horse. The horse has been part of my life. Every horse I ride has got a different character. You have to try to find the key uh, of every horse to, 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 to make it performance the best they can. And I think that's, that's the challenge. That's the challenge of my job, you know? You, uh, like, you like know, I, we're not, jog we're not getting any younger, are we, Frankie, to be honest? You, you said 51. I've noticed, I don't mean to be disrespectful, well, the flying dismount doesn't happen so often now because presumably, like me, your knees have gone, right? I mean, this was fake. You used well, to the jump are, the, the, the knees are okay. I think... I think the, the, the ankles are worse. The knees are not too bad at the moment. Do you know, yes. how, do you know how good it listen, makes me feel? The, the problem is, uh, Jeremy, Jeremy you know the problem is it... I'm, I'm slave of my own thing now. That's the point. But do you know how good it makes me feel that Frankie Dottori, champion jockey, doesn't jump off the horse anymore because his ankles. Listen, uh, family good? Everything good? You're heading... You're not going to retire anytime soon. No, no, listen, I'm definitely going to do next year, that's for sure. Then after that, I don't know. And obviously, as you know, Saturday is a massive day. It's Champions, Champions day, day, I'll be there. Ascot is amazing. We've got the best horse in the world by Heat running. It's his last race. I've got some fabulous rides. So everybody tune in or come to Ascot and watch this uh, amazing uh, sport that we do. Do you know the thing about you, Frankie? I've known you a long time. You have had low moments. You've always been very honest about what you've been through, what you've done, how you've learnt from it, and it's an absolute pleasure. Uh, Chaldine for the 2,000 guineas, an anti-post tip to my one viewer. What do you reckon? Are you saying yes or no? Oh! I say yes. In the, in the first three, I see, I see that uh, it'll be a big player next... Uh, it, it's actually it's, the guineas next year is the same day that... King Charles going to become official king. This is absolutely true. This was announced as we came on air last night, May the 6th next year, of course, King Charles III Correct. will be, be coronated. And, in fact, that's the same day. So you can watch that in the morning. And then this is a long-range tip from Frankie Dottori. In the afternoon, watch the 2,000 <laughs> guineas. We are six months ahead. Six, seriously, I'm not condoning gambling. Obviously don't. And Champions Day on Saturday. Frankie, thank you so, keep, so keep, much. Keep him it, there. Sorry? No problem. Keep Frankie. What am I keeping Frankie? He's, he's taking over Ask again. Frankie who is top of the Premier League, Frankie. Oh, God, man. It's oh, yes. yes! Here we go. I was am there. I Come on, you I gooners. Was there.